Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Pauline back with Legacy of Discord. I hope you're all doing good. So today we have a treasure carnival in game, which is for the new gold mount that I will go and review for you guys and tell you guys if it's worth going for the current stuff that we have in the treasure carnival today. But let's see what else we have here in game. So we have a diamond rebad there, which is good. And then if we go and see the uh, recharge there. $30 is going to give you some capsule coins, missing pages, 70 will give you some spare and capsule coins and then 150 will give you some more pet spirit, missing pages, I'll just let you guys see, 200 is where you will get the pills, some mercenaries and then if you go all the way to 600 you will get more pills but not what in my opinion really and as for the single recharge uh we have the light strider there for 20 dollars that is the good deal today a really really good mount it has a good divinity and uh 30 dollars won't recommend that old wings there let me see do we have any newer t11 rat wing here and yeah i don't think we do have any of the newer t11 rat wings here so not worth it and 40 dollars the platinum pad that is decent and 50 is 100 50 dollars and 100 dollars both are not worth it in my opinion and then if we go and check the item hunt and see if they have added anything new uh they have not added anything new here now let's go and check out the main event that is the Treasure Carnival discount shop as always really really bad and if we go and check out the Luna shop here this is gonna be the last Luna shop of the uh, month this is gonna be the last capsule to machine event of the month and I would recommend getting the divine fire today since we have the gold mount or you can go to the recommendation tab and let's see if we have the mercenary there uh, the cheap one cannot find it did they remove it i believe so they removed the cheaper mercenary there but anyways uh get the stuff that you need we have some good mounts here as well which i would actually uh, recommend you guys getting and uh let's go and check out what else we have here spending rebat goes all the way up to 100k diamond, uh, diamond consume that will get you some red pet watches the old one and then we have the quest here uh which doesn't have anything really good here we have seen all these almost all these amounts on the single charge for 40 dollars so doing the quest for the uh, 50 star is not really that worth it and 53 is the red Herrick play really really bad quest looking already and now let's go and check out the main event that is the capsule toy machine award here for the mouse and the uh, mouse combination here is looking really good in my opinion uh, we have the Alice packs, we have the uh, newer uh, red mount there, we have the spirit green red mount, really really good. Been waiting to grab some more fragments for this mount, especially for the divinity, so it's looking nice. And 500 is the Azuri Hawk there, the gold mount, we can go and check out the rewards, rewards are looking good there. And... It seems like we have some chrome gold fragments there as well uh, but as for the drop rate no idea how bad or good it is let's find a little and see how many fragments we get nothing really that special we don't have much diamonds but we can see what are we getting like a lot of currency actually and it seems like this is gonna be a bit harder I have not seen anyone activate. I think that's the first player who activated the thing. But anyways, from the shop, uh, the treasure shop, not seeing anything good there. Mount shop, we can get the Azuri Hawk there and the other mounts are available there as well. So this is looking nice and we do have some other mounts available there. So that is nice. 
and right wing they have not added anything new material tab they have not added anything new and now let's go and check out all these mouse and review how good they are and if it's worth spending your diamonds for all right so first off we have a newer red mount here we can go and check out a divinity and see if it's any good so as for the divinity attacks have a 35 percent chance to increase your skill damage by 60 percent for Six second this effect can only trigger once every 20 second per target so that is actually really really good Dimity I must say that 60% might even go up as you upgrade the mount more and it can activate per target and cooldown is not that high as uh, well so really really good Dimity in my opinion they should grab it if it's not that expensive currently no idea how expensive the uh mount capsule is since it's just rent live but you guys can let me know in the comment section down below but anyways next we have a spirit queen red mount here the divinity on this mount is actually really really good mine is already pretty high here level four so don't mind me attacks have a 32 percent chance to make you immune to most control effects for five seconds so this is currently for the level four and if we can get to the level five which i really want to do uh the cooldown is gonna go down to 15 seconds and trigger chance is gonna be 36 seconds so this mount is really really good i will be trying to level this thing up to level 5 so i can get that 15 second cooldown instead of that 20 second and now let's go and check out the main uh, mount there which is a gold one azuri hawk and see how good that is all right so azuri hawk let's go and check out the skills let's go all the way to level 13 I'm gonna speed this thing up first talent 20 percent chance to increase the skill damage reduction of allies within 80 range by 20 percent for six seconds this effect can only trigger once every 15 seconds so this skill is actually really good it is gonna help you since it's a rare attribute and as for the second talent there 20 percent chance to reduce the skill damage of enemies within 80 range by 16 percent for six second this effect can only trigger once every 10 seconds so another good skill there which is gonna help you in the pvp and as for the third skill 20% chance to reduce the skill damage reduction of enemies within 80 range by 16% for 6 seconds. This, uh, this effect can only trigger once every 10 seconds. So another good skill there which is going to help you in the PvP. Skyfall or the ground PvP gonna, both going to be helpful. And then as for the fourth one. 20% chance to reduce the total damage of enemies within 80 range by 16% for 6 seconds. This effect can only trigger once every uh, 10 seconds so another good skill there a lot of uh, reduction going on on the enemy on this mount that is gonna help you in pvp and as for the fifth skill here 20 percent chance to reduce the total damage reduction of enemies within 80 range by 16 percent for six seconds this effect can only trigger once every 10 seconds another really good skill and let's go and check out the sixth one 20 percent chance to damage enemies within 80 range for eight percent of their current hp per second for two seconds this is not the highest uh, hp drain we have seen uh this is actually one of the lowest we have in game but that is okay if you have some other talents that you can stack this up with then it is gonna be decent hp green and now let's go and check out the last skill here which in my opinion is the best skill on this mount 20 percent chance to make allies within 80 range immune to most control effects increase their total damage by 16 percent for five seconds this effect can only trigger once every 20 seconds so this is gonna work for you and your allies which is not written here so let me say it again this talent is gonna work for you and your allies 
which will make you immune to most control effects and increase your and your allies total damage and now let's go and check out the divinity on this mod and see how good that is so the divinity is actually looking really good even worth upgrading if the capsule drop rate is gonna be good when attacked there is a 30 percent chance to become invincible and immune to most control effects for two seconds i believe the more you upgrade this mount the duration is gonna go higher so next level is gonna be three seconds and if you can get it higher it is gonna be four second five second duration and it can activate every 40 seconds so really really good doing anything here it will make you in invincible and immune to most control effects that is nowadays really really good comes really really handy so uh, the mount itself are uh, really good. I like the combination of the mounts that we have in the uh, capsule toy machine event this time around this month. Both red mounts are really good and the gold one is good as well. So if you can get it for 70-80k diamonds then it is worth getting in my opinion and you should get it this month is gonna help you in pvp 41 pvp and the sky pvp but anyways i'm gonna sign off now i'll see you guys later with something else till then have fun and take care guys